Hello, and thank you for joining us at Delaware's BIP Broadcast. My name is Torrance Brickman, Wilson Mendoza, and Ashley Benavides. The COVID-19 pandemic has caused nationwide issues that still affect us three years later. One of those issues is the staffing shortage. Many establishments have improved, but still lingers in many others. So, how are they dealing with this? Let's take a look at one of America's caffeine supplying businesses who has strived through the struggles, Starbucks. Today, we are here with the district manager of Starbucks. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yes. Hi, my name is Erica. I'm a district manager in Starbucks. Uh, my stores span from central Delaware, from Dover, Delaware, all the way down to Ocean City and Salisbury, Maryland. How would you say you responded? Um, at first, with the staffing shortage, we didn't respond well at all. We didn't we know what we were going through. Um, we weren't able to pivot and create new plans and a new strategy to staff. How did you adjust the four hours? We, we tried a few different theories. We closed earlier. Um, another piece was that we didn't open some stores and move some partners from one location to another location so they could stay open full hours. Uh, so there's a few different things we did with store hours. With the staffing shortage, does your hiring and firing requirements sometimes vary? Yes, we are paying partners uh, $3 more an hour. Uh, we've also increased many of our benefits. We haven't really changed policies and procedures. Um, if anything, we are just looking harder to find the best talent. So how would you say the staffing shortage affected the customers? Um, so the staffing shortage affected the customers greatly. We had to change store hours, which created inconsistencies in our business. Uh, we were not hiring um, the strongest of partners. Um, and um, because of that, we didn't always have the best customer experience. And what advice would you give to some of the other companies or stores that might be struggling with staffing shortages? So keep hiring the best talent, keep looking, don't give up. If, you know, you're always looking to add the next best um, partner on your team. Thank you for being here today and giving us your time. It was really nice talking to you. You too, have a great day. To see how they push through the struggle is truly inspiring. Serving the community and giving back is very important. This is seen with the winter celebration that the Shelville brothers put together to give back to the community. Let's talk to the marketing director of Shelville to get a little bit more insight. Hello. Uh, thank you for being here. Yes, of course. Would you mind introducing yourself? To no, me? my name is Elisa Titus. I'm mm -hmm. the director of marketing at Shell Brothers and mm -hmm. we're here at Shelville. Uh, what would you say the mission is? Instead of trying to maximize profits. We're super focused on the happiness of our team, of our homeowners, and as you can see by Shellville, the community at large. Uh, how would you say uh, running all of this? We've been working on this all year, but mm -hmm. we've had some huge expansive, expansion plans. It takes, it takes a village to put on this village. I'm They're sorry. really proud that we have um, 30 small businesses who have artisan shops here. Small businesses, we're keeping it hyper local. We do intend to have some really fun events in the off season, um, seasonal events at Easter, at Halloween. Um, we have some surprises in store for 2023. So here at Shelvo, there's a lot of things people do and a lot of fun for the family. What are some of those things that the kids and family can do? Yeah, so um, the sled hill that's new this year for mm -hmm. me is one of uh, the most fun spots. The train ride's very magical. You go under a tunnel of lights. Yep, well, thank you for being here, giving us your time and all. You're so busy, we appreciate it. Me and many people alike can't wait for it to open back up again. What they have created is extremely impressive and has brought so much fun and joy for all ages in our community. Yes, Wilson. We are very thankful for the interviews and thoughts from the um, district manager of Starbucks and marketing director of Shellville. Thank you for viewing us today at Delaware's Bit Broadcast. This is Torrance, Wilson, and Ashley signing out. And remember, kids, dress for the job you want, not the job you have.